Hello, welcome to another Race Technology video. In this video, I'll be describing how to turn the Race Technology Dash 2 into a video data logging system using the DL1 or the RT Live in conjunction with the GPS enabled GoPro. So the, the Race Technology Dash 2 has been one of our popular displays. We've been selling it for many years. You'll find this standard fit in cars such as the Aerial Atom, the Westfield. Uh, you'll find this in kit cars, uh, race cars. So if you purchase this display or you purchased a car with already this installed and you want to enable the lap timing or create a video data logging system then this is the video to watch. So let's take a closer look at the equipment we've got here and try and understand how it all works. So this is the Dash 2 display. Typically you stand alone, so you don't use it with any other device. Uh, on here you display three variables, so if I just switch it on here. So coolant temperature, fuel level and oil pressure, a non-resettable odometer and the indicators as it is a road legal display, uh, but on the back there's no GPS in connection and there's no built-in memory in there. So it's not like the Dash 2 Pro, it is just for replacing the instrument cluster and you have the data port for configuration, four buttons for uh, entering the menu, resetting the odometer, and there's some connections over here for the, the indicators and sensors and so on. So if you, you have one of these in your car and you do want to make it into a data logging system or a lap timer, then simply what you need is one of our data loggers. So here we have the RT Live, which is our telemetry based system. So you have a SIM card inside and all the data is uploaded automatically onto the cloud. And also we have here our DL1 Sport, which is a memory card based system. So all the data is stored on the memory card. So immediately you can take it out of the car, and put it in the computer for data analysis. And both these systems are GPS systems. So the antenna goes on the roof of the car and all the data uh, for lap timing and data analysis is mainly based on the GPS. So if you have this in your car, simply to, to connect these two devices together, there's a data port and there's a data port on the front of the RT Live here. You just plug it in. In the case of the RT Live, the lap timing is automatic. So in this case, when you go past the lap marker, the system would recognize what circuit you're at, generated the lap marker file based on our database. So as you go past the marker on the display here, you, the oil pressure would change to lap delta, so how much up or down against your fastest lap. The fuel level would change to your last lap time and the coolant temp would change to a sector time. And also the speedo here would change into a lap counter. After five seconds from crossing the marker, it would switch back to this normal screen. In the case of the DL1 Sport, which the connectors on the back. In this case, to, to create the lap marker, it doesn't have the database locally. You can either create the marker from pressing the button at the start line, or start line the first time you go out at that circuit. Or additionally, you can save it from our software. You save the marker file on, on the memory card, and each time it goes past that marker, the lap timing data is displayed. So once you've completed your run, if you wanted to do some data analysis, you can take the memory card out of the DL1 Sport or the data is immediately available via the internet on the RT Live in the analysis software. And at that point, you can then combine it with your video. So if you have a GPS enabled GoPro like I have here, um, the GPS data, uh, the GPS time stored within the video file is automatically synced with the GPS time of the run file. So there's no need for synchronization. You load the video in and then it's automatically synced. And at which point you'll be able to do side-by-side -side lap comparison to really understand where you're losing and gaining the time.